Welcome to your ultimate pit stop, Piston Pundit. Today, we're diving into a topic that's been sparking debates in the automotive world. Remember when Akio Toyota, the former CEO of the world's largest car maker, was criticized for his cautious approach to full electrification? Well, it seems the tables have turned. As electric vehicles hit a speed bump and other manufacturers count their losses in billions, Toyota is having its I told you so moment. And here are six reasons why. Reason number six, the US government's U-turn on rapid electrification. A year ago, the EPA's radical plan aimed to make 67% of new cars all electric by 2032. However, the plan was met with resistance. American car makers, having already invested heavily in EVs and suffered losses, were not thrilled. The UAW feared massive layoffs, and consumers, deterred by EVs' high costs and lack of reliability, were not ready to switch from gas-powered cars. The plan, based on a short-term growth trend without in-depth market research, was destined to fail. As the landscape changed drastically, it became clear that a new strategy was needed. Last month, the EPA unveiled a more realistic plan, predicting that EVs will make up just a third of the new car market by 2032. This plan, reducing the projected fleet average emissions to 49%, allows car makers to avoid hefty fines and continue producing ICE heavy-duty pickups, a crucial aspect for American automakers. Reason number five, the rise of hybrids. While EV growth has slowed, hybrids have surged, accounting for 9% of the new car market in 2024, outpacing EVs at 7.8%. This is particularly significant for Toyota, the leading force in hybrid technology. Last year, Toyota sold over 3.4 million hybrids worldwide, a trend set to continue, especially with the Camry and the upcoming next-gen RAV4 being available only as hybrids. The increasing popularity of hybrids is quite straightforward. They offer a range of benefits that make them an attractive choice for consumers. They emit less carbon than gas-only vehicles, providing that satisfaction factor for environmentally conscious consumers. At the same time, they eliminate the range and charging anxiety associated with EVs. Furthermore, hybrids are notably cheaper, and Toyota's hybrids are probably the most reliable and cost-effective cars you can buy today. Considering all these factors, it's not surprising that GM and Ford have just announced that they are bringing more hybrids to the U.S. markets, especially after the billions they've lost on failed EV projects. Reason number four, EV strategy. Customers and dealers first, regulators second. The failure of rapid electrification can be attributed to one key factor. Governments around the world have been pushing EVs without considering the needs and wants of the customers. Consumers were expected to bear the brunt of the electrification push, paying higher prices for EVs without getting much in return. This aggressive push for electrification has also led to a surge in the prices of internal combustion cars, as automakers scramble to fund new EV investments. However, the money isn't coming from EV sales. Recent reports suggest that car makers lose an average of $6,000 on every EV they sell. Toyota chose not to participate in this risky game. The company has repeatedly stated that it would rather pay green credits and other fines than make poor investments. Toyota's EV strategy is driven by customers and dealers, not regulations. Today, Toyota is having the last laugh. The company stuck to its guns and proved the naysayers wrong. The government has finally decided to slow down its electrification push, after witnessing major American car makers like Ford and GM lose billions and delay their EV investments. Toyota's foresight and customer-centric approach have once again proven to be the winning strategy. Before we delve deeper, do us a favor and smash that like and subscribe button. This helps us reach more auto enthusiasts just like you. Now let's shift gears and steer towards our next point. Reason number three, Toyota's record-breaking profit. While the green agenda is a noble pursuit, it's not feasible without profitability. Automakers need sustainable strategies, and rapid electrification has proven not to be one. Case in point, American automakers GM and Ford. They embraced new technology and invested billions, only to end the year with substantial losses. 
Ford, for instance, suffered a staggering $5 billion loss on EVs in 2023, forcing it to have the production of the F-150 Lightning and delay $12 billion worth of investments planned for this year. GM, on the other hand, postponed the production of the all-electric Silverado and Sierra to 2025. In contrast, Toyota is reaping the rewards of its strategic investments. Rather than pouring money into immature EV technology, the Japanese automaker focused on perfecting its hybrids, selling an impressive 11.2 million cars last year. Unlike EVs, hybrids are profitable for Toyota. The company ended the nine-month period from April to the end of 2023 with $27 billion in earnings, nearly double compared to the same period in 2022. To put things into perspective, Tesla's profit last year increased by 19%, amounting to $15 billion. Reason number two, the immaturity of EV technology. Toyota's management, including Akio Toyota, believed that EV technology wasn't ready for mass production. They felt that EVs needed more time to perfect and couldn't guarantee zero emissions at their current stage. Their foresight has proven accurate. EVs can't meet the average driver's needs yet. They're expensive, with the average cost in 2023 between $55,000 and $60,000. High interest rates and a market slowdown further complicate matters. According to the Boston Consulting Group, potential EV buyers are looking for a car under $50,000, with at least 350 miles of range and a 20-minute charging time. Currently, only one car meets these criteria. The rest falls short in many ways. Battery technology isn't good enough yet to withstand outside factors. Batteries underperform in cold weather and drain quickly under heavy use. Issues with charging stations and overall convenience have left many EV owners disappointed. This highlights the need for further development and refinement in EV technology. Reason number one, the power of diversification. Despite its conservative stance, Toyota has never been opposed to electric cars. Rather, it has been against the rigid one-size-fits-all approach to zero emissions that focuses solely on battery electric vehicles. In Toyota's playbook, the journey to zero emissions and sustainability is more nuanced, with a variety of options beyond just battery electric vehicles. As company officials have repeatedly stated, it's up to the customers to decide what solution works best for them. Toyota's leadership, including Akio Toyota, firmly believes that full electrification is unattainable. They are convinced that EVs will never make up more than a third of the global market. That's why Toyota invests heavily in alternative technologies. While hybrids are currently leading the pack, Toyota has demonstrated its ability to design a hydrogen fuel cell vehicle. The company has also developed an internal combustion engine that runs on hydrogen, which is currently being tested in various endurance races. Recently, Toyota developed an engine that operates on liquid ammonia, suggesting that the Japanese automaker has several tricks up its sleeve to maintain its position as a global leader. That's all for today's episode, folks. If you enjoyed this deep dive into the world of automotive trends and innovations, don't forget to subscribe to Piston Pundit. We'll see you in the next episode.